Then Mandavya said, okay, we will change the law from today onwards. Any man who is below seven will not be considered a culprit whatever wrong he does. Even if he commits murder, it must not be taken into account. Mandavya insisted upon that rule. Yamadar Muranjya said, okay, let that be. Because he knows if he curses him, well, this fellow is finished. These rishis were uh, capable of uh, giving curses even to Brahma and uh, Shiva. Trimurtis were afraid of these uh, rishis. He said, okay, let it be. Now, because of this Mandavya's uh, meeting with Yamadar Muranjya, from that day onwards till now, the spiritual law book says, that till you complete seven years, whatever you do will not be taken into account. Well, the British people ruled us. Some uh, Vedic scholars from Indian society advised the British judges, Sir, so and so is the law in India. So please, uh, as per the British rule, let all children below seven be forgiven. Please don't give them any sentence for whatever they do. The judge saw, okay, it's all right. But that white man said, a child below seven tends to speak the truth always. He doesn't uh, go back on his words. So, in the court, if any boy below seven gives a witness against a particular person, it will be taken to be true. So, with this class, that law was enacted. So, our ancestors say it was Mandavya that who changed the law of karma. So great were people like that. Now, according to the curse of Mandavya, Yamadharma was born as Vidura. And whatever knowledge Yamadharma had, Vidura had. Already Yamadharma's son is born there. Who is he? Yudhishthira, the eldest son of the Pandavas, was the son of Yamadharma Raja. But he was not an incarnation of Yama, but he was a son. So this Vidura, from his infancy, displayed symptoms of wisdom, discipline, control of mind, and all noble qualities which behove a great man. Because of that, Dhritarashtra and Pandu respected him. Even though he is born for a Shudra lady, they respected him for this. But Duryodhana never cared to respect Vidura. He would always call Vidura as a man born for a wrong woman. He will openly declare like that. But Vidura never took it seriously. What happened was, whenever Dhritarashtra went wrong, Vidura never failed to advise him. There is a Russia, what you are doing is wrong. You are my elder brother, all right. But that doesn't mean that you can go wrong. You are bound to meet with a tragic end. So give back the Raja to Pandavas. Don't do this. But he wouldn't listen. So whenever uh, Vidura failed to that Dhritarashtra went wrong seriously, he took the opportunity to advise Dhritarashtra. And all these pieces of advice were collected in form of a book called Vidura Niti. That is the justice taught by Vidura. In Yasubharata, Mahabharata, we find uh, gems like uh, Vishnu Sahasranama, Bhagavad Gita, and Vidura Niti, and uh, one more rare book, Dharma Gita. Dharma Gita was a conversation between Yudhishthira and uh, his own father, Yamadharma Raja, who came in disguise. 
it is said in the itigasa that uh, yudhishthira's younger brothers went in search of water they drank the water of a pool they fell dead this eldest brother went in search of him when he saw them dead he was very much aggrieved he was angry which devil killed my brothers i don't know why then he went to drink the water of the pool then a voice came yudhishthira stop don't drink this water killed your brothers so if you drink this you will also die if you want back your brothers answer my questions i will put some questions and you must answer it is something like this a grandfather meeting a grandson 10 year old grandson after a long time grandfather says hey come on grandson your father says you are a very brilliant student i will ask you a few questions come on answer me as that he asked questions those questions were very interesting one question was like this yudhishthira what is the greatest wonder you see in this world what would you answer if you were in his shoes what would you answer perhaps kundana halli martha halli these buildings are very wonderful you would say that but he said every day one man dies in the world and people see that it body but even after that these people hope to live for a long time they don't think about their cremation in pondicherry the cremation ground is situated in a place called karavadi kuppa if you go there on both sides of the wall a passage is written what is it how does it go today this man tomorrow you what a great blessing they give but no use nobody cares about it even after seeing corpses in the mortuary people think that they will live up to 100 years very hopeful very positive they start new business they open new branches this is the greatest wonder i have seen in this world he said then that uh, spirit said oh very good very good very good excellent one more question what is that living being which when born is motionless but alive i repeat the question what is that living being which is motionless but alive we would never definitely be confused if a child is motionless that means it is dead he immediately said the question is very simple sir it is the hen's egg the egg is alive but it is motionless this vimadhan uh, maharaj became very happy like this he gave answers for more than 101 questions i taught this chapter under the heading dharma gita in pondicherry for 2 years and the most intelligent uh, of the audience used to admire the tisigasa so of this pancharatnas of vyasa bharata vidurunidhi is one in vidurunidhi vidura advises yudhishthira spiritually as well as politically today i have chosen to give you the spiritual aspect of his vidura nidhi because political means you might feel dry whatever vidura says is wrong is being followed today and you might feel that i am hinting at somebody indirectly i don't want that to happen so let me go to the spiritual aspect of it there are uh, as many as uh, ocean big ideas given by vidura i brought just some 20 or 22 points so if you cover up these 22 points i think that will enrich your brain 
will you go home back you feel that you are vidura rich with knowledge the first question the first point is who gives shelter to others reaches sri vaikuntha even thousand yagnas won't give it who gives shelter to others in danger they reach sri vaikuntha even a thousand yagnas won't give him that if a person is in danger he comes running to you he falls at your feet swami sharanam please save me some people are chasing me if you give shelter to him that's a great punya ikra says even thousand yagnas done will not give you sri vaikunta but this one deed will give you sri vaikunta why lord vishnu is of the nature that he believes in that abhay pradhanam what is abhay pradhanam giving shelter to people in danger in ramayana vibhishana changes party reaches rama's residence he wants him to be taken in all the monkeys are against him. this fellow is a rakshasa he has come to kill you don't believe his words but rama says sakradeva prapannaya cha even if once one person surrenders himself to me i will give him protection from all the five elements yetad vridham mama that is my doctrine so he allowed vibhishana to be one among those people so sharanagati is the essence of sri vaishnavas so vidura who knows well about it he says if you can give shelter to someone who comes with a plea to that effect you will attain the greatest reward when rama meets a jatayu being seriously wounded by ravana while carrying sita he could get at the best a few informations that ravana carried sita he is the king of sri lanka but you will get sita back these three sentences he spoke and he died now rama looks upon jatayu as his own father when ravana carried away abducted sita this deity of river godavari was watching it when i came and asked that godavari mata mata ji godavari mata ji please tell me who took my wife away she kept quiet for fear of ravana i asked the vriksha devadas that is deities of the trees they kept quiet I asked the thirty-three crores of deities who abducted my wife. Nobody would give me an answer. But this bird, get on you, which doesn't have six senses, it lives on crabs, fish, worms, considered to be very impure. He came to the extent of giving his life for my wife. Not only that, he gave me information. so i look upon him as my father because my father dasratha and jada you were good friends whoever is a friend of your father must be treated as your father so to the dead body of jada you he gave all brahma veda samskaram that is the rituals to be done for a dead body as a son would do to their fathers he gave a mantra yehi yehi jada you my dear jana you please cross all worlds and go to that world from where nobody returns sri vaigundam paramam padam if anybody stops you tell them the son of dasaratha sri rama sent you nobody will dare do it and what happened was jana you became a mukta so this sharanagati tattva is the essence of sri vaishnavism here he says one who gives shelter to others in danger goes to sri vaigunda 